So here's a question. What's a nine letter word for a puzzle that's been in the New York Times for 75 years? If you guess crossword, you're correct. To celebrate the milestone, celebrities like astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, singer Lisa Loeb, and designer Isaac, Isaac rather, Mizrahi, sorry, Isaac, have stepped in to help create special puzzles. Today's guest writer is actor Jesse Eisenberg. Jim Axelrod is here to show us the evolution of the crossword. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. These special guest authors of some of these latest puzzles have been a way to mark the run-up to this very special day in the history of the world's best-known crossword. Thanks for thousands of hours of fun. Thanks a lot. Why is a man whose job description has been to frustrate people to tears for nearly a quarter century being hounded for autographs? Because if you love crossword puzzles, Will Shorts is a rock star. Thank you so much. There's something about this puzzle that grabs people. What is it? Well, first of all, if you're a puzzle sort of person and you look at an empty crossword grid, you naturally feel compelled to fill in the squares. That's part of the appeal. It's partly the testing of yourself. Solving a crossword is one way to affirm that you can still think. Keeps you from, you know, losing your mind. The crossword gets progressively more difficult through the week. After Wednesday, forget it. <laughs> a million and a half people each month try to tackle the Times crossword. I love it. It's the best there is out there. And yet, historically speaking, the Times is a curious home for the gold standard of crosswords. So the crossword puzzle became a, a national and then a worldwide craze in 1924 and 25. And the New York Times ran an editorial saying that crosswords were a waste of time and predicting their swift demise. Literally having to eat their words. <laughs> the Times was the last major metropolitan daily newspaper to start a crossword. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked. The Times debuted the crossword puzzle two months after Pearl Harbor. The first crossword had a World War II theme to play off the day's headlines. It seems kind of crazy. The crossword really should divert you from the harsher parts of life. It's really crosswords are escapism. There have only been four puzzle editors at the paper in the last 75 years. Shorts took over in 1993. The most common answer in the history of the Times puzzle is area, having appeared more than 1,400 times. But in the Will Shorts era, the most common answer has been, well, era. The nice thing about it is that there's lots of ways to clue it. You know, it's the historical period. Uh, it is the earned run average in baseball. It's the name of a laundry detergent. There are just equal lots of rights amendment. equal rights amendment. There's lots of things you can do with it. In November of 1996, the New York Times published one of its most memorable puzzles. You have an all time favorite. Yeah. Which was Election Day of 1996. Right. The country was deciding between Bob Dole and Bill Clinton. It's still too close to call. And Bill so was the puzzle. The answer could be Clinton elected or Bob Dole elected. Either one worked with the crossings. For example, the first down answer across that was black Halloween animal. And you could fill in cat forming the C of Clinton or bat forming the first B of Bob Dole. And each of the succeeding answers did double duty just like that. It was the first time a crossword ever was schizophrenic like that. First time a crossword ever had two answers. The puzzles thrive on short words with plenty of vowels. That's why a crossword's favorite cookie is the Oreo. Its favorite music producer is Brian Eno. And its favorite skater is either Apollo Ono or Midori Ito. The crossword's future, like every other part of the paper, is a matter of adapting to the digital age of a world moving faster and attention spans growing shorter. The puzzle's latest innovation is the mini, one third the size of a regular puzzle and available only online or with the app. The thing that excites me about the mini is that this is kind of like uncharted territory. 24-year-old Joel Faliano is the editor of the mini. There's ways to experiment with a digital crossword that you could never experiment with a print puzzle. So for instance, a couple weeks ago I put an emoji as a clue. But I'm saying this is what excites me about the digital era of crosswords. It's so though. millennial. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, it might be the ultimate millennial thing. But crossword traditionalists need not worry. 
At least that's what Will Shorts is telling us. Crossword is the best variety of puzzle ever devised. It's just a very versatile puzzle that appeals to people. Is the New York Times crossword puzzle going to be around in another 75 years? I think the crossword is here to stay. So today we got a movie star to mark the big day, but yesterday's puzzle author might have been even more impressive. His name is Daniel Larson, and at 13 years, four wow. months old, he is the youngest person in the history of the Times crossword to create one. Wow, so anybody can submit a puzzle? Oh, anyone can submit one, uh -huh. but not anyone can get it accepted. To right. get paid? Yeah. What do you get Good. paid? What do you get paid if you... 300 to 360 for the Monday to Saturday. If you want the big money, it's the Sunday crossword. crossword yeah. 1,000 to 1,200. Wow. He's there is nothing yeah. that can humble me more quickly and make yes. me feel more stupid <laughs> yeah. than the crossword puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, go Will Shorts and his team. Bravo. Yeah. That was Great. nice, Jim. Very Thank nice. you. Nice. So now you know the word that's been used so yes. many times. Area. 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 Got it.